Hey guys, it's Jeff and VB here with the third part of our three-part series on how to optimize that glute recruitment. So this is gonna be a side plank exercise. And you wanna utilize a side plank with a bent knee on the bottom. It's gonna help you recruit the glutes much more than having the feet outstretched. So as VP's in this position, he's brought his hips forward so they're in line with his knee and his shoulder, and then really driving from the bottom leg and pushing that knee into the floor. Again, trying to feel that muscle working in the back pocket. You can hold this for a sustained hold of 30 seconds to a minute, or if you want additional challenge, you can lower your hips towards the floor and then lifting back up. Again, not utilizing your low back muscles, but try to really use those back pocket muscles by driving the knee into the floor and then slowly lowering back down. Again, so this would be the dynamic side plank but feel free to start with that static hold side plank, build your endurance up before moving to this dynamic side plank, and then rest. Now for our second exercise, we're gonna show a single leg deadlift with the kettlebell. So on this progression of the exercise, we're gonna have him lower down towards the floor using the hip hinge, keeping the back straight, and then standing back up tall. Good. So the weight's going to be in your opposite hand. You could use a dumbbell, a kettlebell, or anything heavier on the house. Good. So the weight will be on the right foot. You can keep an eye on his back posture that stays straight the whole time, doesn't round. But the big glute muscles are going to do the work. So similar to our last two videos, you want to feel this working in the back pocket, but not the lower back muscles. And then rest. Good. And our final exercise can be utilized with a Swiss ball against the wall. This is a nice exercise because both hips will be working at the same time. So he's gonna make contact with his right leg against the wall through the ball, but his left leg is also active. And as he drives his left foot into the floor, he's gonna feel the back pocket of his left glute working. And then he's gonna move through the running motion. Yeah, and then lower back down. So this is a great exercise for both glutes. It's great for our runners, our hikers, skate skiers for the winter, engaging both the left glute and also the glute against the ball. So spine should stay vertical, pelvis should remain level, but you'll feel a nice burn on both glutes here, both on the stance side and also the moving side. Thank you.